stampers thanks for joining me today for video Friday so today I actually had a different video plan but I want to do finish up my paper pumpkin box and um, as uh, August 10th approaches that's the deadline for um, the August kit so I always like to try to finish up this sending good thoughts is the July kit absolutely darling you're going to see all these cards i've made at the end so hang in there it might be a long video um i have two card bases left i have some bits and pieces um and i'm going to try to use up pretty much everything i have Ooh, i got a lot all kinds of bits and pieces here but i'm going to make a shaker card um that's one thing i wanted to do and i hadn't done yet and then I like to do some stenciling, um, a little bit of stenciling. So we'll see how this all goes. Okay. So let's see. I have my starfish shirt on today <laughs> because this is so, this um, kit is just so um, nautical. And so I'm in love with it. And um, so I thought, oh, how appropriate. I'll just wear my shirt like that goes with it. So let's get started. Okay. So. Yes, what do I have left? Um, I have two of these. I have the that bottle, I have this bottle. So this one was designed to stamp the ship on, which I may do, not sure. Then I have this one, love it. I have this coral, which you uh, can invert. If you like white coral, you can invert it. Okay, and then I have this piece of coral. Mm, this is delightful love the colors again you can flip it over um i have this left which i used one of these and i made a cute scroll i'm going to show you that at the end i have some circles left i have um a couple oh, i have one one starfish um, oh here's another circle and then i have a seahorse and you know we have a we have um on the back of that uh, we have the stamp seahorse it's smaller which is cute I do have um what is this a pelican no I don't even know what this is some kind of a seabird I have some flying birds I have a little bits and oh wait I have two of these okay so I do have some you know little bobs and pieces okay some things are cut up so we'll see what goes I do have um two card bases left I have the uh, fresh freesia one and the basic gray one left um, I think I'm going to use the Fresh Freesia one first. I have an extra piece of Fresh Freesia cards. Oh, this is actually a half a piece that I cut off. I used the other half, so I have this cut off. I am going to use my um, Vintage Bottle Punch to make the shaker card. Okay, so I have my paper cutter here, and I'm going to trim my this piece down a smidge. Okay, so I'm going to take this down to like four by five and a quarter. Okay, so it'll layer nicely. I always like that. Even though it's going to be tone on tone, I do like that layered look. Um, let's see. Let's make that five and a quarter by four. Yes. Okay. So this is going to layer <clears throat> on top. And instead of having the card open this way, I'm actually going to have it open this way. And so that's going to be on the inside. Okay. It's all going to make sense. Okay. So I am going to punch this. I'm going to hold this. Okay. I'm not going to glue it down yet because I'm going to put my, um, my bottle inside to make my shaker card. Oh, it's not going to fit. It's not going up far enough. Darn. Hmm, Travis. That's a bummer. Okay, well, tell you what. We'll move it down. Yes, we'll make it work. See, best laid plans sometimes do not work. Okay, we're going to make it work. <clears throat> Actually, going to trim off a little bit from the bottom now. Okay, there we go. It's a little 
It's a little short on top, but who cares? Okay, that's what happens sometimes. All right, so how do you make a shaker card? Okay, well, I have the bottles, the um, vintage bottle shaker domes. I have two left. Don't worry, I have another container of these. Yep. Okay, so the way that you will make a shaker card is we will put this on the inside like that. Okay, and then we have to have some, oh, you know what? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm not gonna make it a shaker. Maybe I'm just gonna make it a see-through. Ooh, I like that. I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, that'll even be easier. Okay, so before I do that, I'm gonna stamp something on here. And the stamps are just adorable. So I'm gonna use my block. Where's my block? Well, I guess I'll use this block. I don't see my D block. Unless I'm looking right at it and I don't see it. Okay, so I'm gonna use Bermuda Bay. So Bermuda Bay was the spot that came with the kit, but guess what? I don't need to open it because I have the big stamp pad. Okay, I'm gonna do one more right here. And I'm gonna do a little one. Okay, so it's kind of going up. And then I need some Poppy Parade because I'm gonna bring a little more color. Okay, so where's my scrub? Oh, Travis. <sighs> scrub. On the other top, this is my chamois. It's a little dry. I was getting ready to take it in and give it a good uh, scrub, but we won't do that right now. See how cute that looks. Okay, just bringing in those colors. And even though I've got this Fresh Freesia cardstock, it still shows up nicely. Okay, now I am going to stamp. That's going to be cute because guess what I'm going to put on the inside? I am going to use this and I'm going to put this on the inside so it shows through the bottle. I think it's going to be cute. It'll, it won't be a shaker. So if you wanted to make it a shaker, you would have to put something in here, right? And I could certainly do that. I could put a piece of white cardstock here to hold everything in, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna make it a see-through and it's gonna be so cute. All right, let's glue this in. So I hope this isn't like a, you know, I don't know, it's gonna be a long video. Um, do I have my glue? Oh, I have this. So I'm just going to use this. This is actually really good for tiny things. So what I did was I put glue in this little container. You can get these on, I think you can get these on Amazon. And they are so lovely for little tiny things like this. Okay, so I don't need it everywhere, but I do need a little bit extra. Okay. Okay. I think that's good. And what's nice about these is that they don't really clog up that much. So you got this little silicone silicone thing you can put on as a stopper. Now, question. I think I'm going to do it this way. Kind of like that. And then I'll just trim off the bottom. Okay, so we'll just let that go over onto the silicone and it'll clean right off. Okay, so, oh yeah, that's gonna look good. Okay, now I have that on the inside. Okay, so I have that done. Now I have this. I'm gonna stamp something else on here. 
So we have some really cute greetings. And I like this one, wishing you all the best. And I think... That would be really cute on one of these dot, on one of these circles. Okay, so wishing you all the best. So I have two colors going on here. I have Bermuda Bay, Poppy Parade, and Fresh Freesia. Don't think I need a whole lot more color. Okay, I think those three colors look really good together. I mean, basic gray is a neutral, so I could certainly use that um, and not be, you know, not really count that as a fourth color. But I think I'm going to use Bermuda Bay. See how cute that is? Yeah, that is a great saying, too. Wishing you all the best. That can be everything. All the best of everything. Best birthday. Best, um, the best day. Best graduation. Okay, so we are going to pop that up. I'm going to use some of these little dimensionals because that's what I have handy. Okay, so before I do that, I might want to stamp something else on here. Or maybe use a star. Ooh. So there's this little stamp in here, and it's like a little, little dots. Okay, so I'm going to stamp some of those. Get some ink on there. I'm going to stamp some dots on here. I have to be a whole bunch, just a few. See? Don't need to cover it. I'm just going to do a few. On one I did, card I'm going to show you at the end, I did um, stamp the whole thing, and it turned out really cute, too. Okay, so that's going to go on there, too. Let's go ahead and put that on there, too. Overlap a little bit, kind of like that. Now, this is going to push through. So, is that going to mess that up? No, I think that'll be okay. Okay, so we're going to have this at the top, like that. I need something right there, don't I? Mm -hmm. You know what would be cute? I have this piece of I have this piece of cardstock, or, oh, look, I have that little seahorse. Adorable. Okay, we're going to pop her up. Her, him. I don't know why I always say her. Silly. Okay, pop her up. Seahorse. Get that. We got this. Go ahead and put this down now. The only other thing I might do is do I, do I have some kind of a little background stamp? Oh yeah, I have this. I am going to use Fresh Freesia. I'm going to do tone on tone. So yeah, the uh, the instructions always tell you what actually um, coordinates, colors will coordinate. Do I need some down here? Sure. Bring your eye down and around. Looking good. Okay, I think I'm done with that part now. All right, so now all I need to do, I'm going to cover that up because I didn't get a full star there. Okay, so how do these work? So they're sticky on both sides, right? So if you're making a, they're super easy if you're making a um, shaker card. Super easy if you're not making a shaker card because they stick so it doesn't stick too soon. And they're very sticky. Okay. And then 
we're actually going to have it stick to this piece also. So when we peel this away, backing, it's very sticky again. And then I need some more sticky because I need to adhere this everywhere. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is line that up. If I can line that up. Yes, yes. Oh, so cute. Okay, like I said, I was going to trim that off. And super hard to do when you don't have any scissors. What am I planning? Why wasn't I planning better? I need to bring everything over. But I do like inverting these cards, these card bases, and making the inside just as cute. Okay, so I have that. So I do have this edge up here, and I think what I'll do is, I can do this, I'm not sure. Or I could put a little ribbon there. there look, I could actually do that. Hey, I got an idea. I'm going to put a little glue here. And I'm going to make this very nautical. Okay. I'm going to close this, even though I don't think it clogs up too bad. I still want to. And I'm going to put some of this right here. Oh, that's going to be cute. Hey, I always say there's more than one way to fix something. And I'm going to do another one. So I'm going to actually make it look like rope. You know, like a seaman uses rope. So I'm going to stick that down. And when that dries, it's going to be like kind of hard, like rope. And I might be able to do one more. I'm not sure if I have enough glue there, but if, it, if I do... That'll stick. If not, I'll have to add a little glue, which I might do at the end. Look how cute that is. I'm glad I thought of that. Totally unplanned. Totally off the cuff. But look. So cute. Okay, so you have room to write inside. You have all this going on. Put a little glue right here to hold this down because I don't want to cut that off. Okay. I'm going to make you guys want one of these, I think, if I keep using it. I think you can order those. I mean, I know you can order them, but I think you can order them on uh, Amazon. Okay. So maybe it needs a little embellishment. I'm not sure. Um, it's a little bit crooked. Um, I might add some, some kind of rustic little, something little on here, but for now, why is that crooked? Bugging me. There. Now it's better. Okay, so there's one card. I have one more card, and what am I going to do with this card? Hmm. Should I invert it? No, I think I'm going to keep it this way. Okay. And is this getting too lengthy or should I stop? Um, I have this piece. Oh, that's very cute. I also have this. I have a bottle. I really could have the bottle kind of as a pull out. No, it's too big. Mm, almost would work. I can make it as a pull out. Oh, that's very cute. Yes, yes. Or I could do this one. 
This one's just a little bit smaller. And I could stamp that cute saying on it. It says, sending good thoughts. Mm -hmm. Let's stamp that. Okay. Sending good thoughts. And you know what color I think I like? I think I like, and this was another color that they said we could use. Pacific Point. So I could stamp that. Sending good thoughts. I'm going to stamp it way over here like that. Isn't that so pretty? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then... It would be really cute to stamp a little seahorse, just a little tiny seahorse. And I could stamp that in um, Fresh Freesia. Because, you know, seahorses can be any color, right? All right. You can see I'm winging it as I go, right? That's going to be a cute pullout, though. Okay, so, <coughs> sorry. I didn't mean to cough like that. So I had thought of something, and something I had done on one other card was I did some tissue paper, okay? So I put glue on it, and then I put the tissue paper on it, and I made it textured. So I have this extra tissue paper that come that everything's wrapped in when you get them, but I don't know if I really need to do that. Hmm. I need something, I think, besides this and this. Maybe I don't. Maybe I could just do some birds up here. That would be cute. I have these extra birds. And I have this extra starfish. Hmm, I'm not sure. Okay, I think I'm going to, instead of sitting here thinking, 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 I'm going to just go for it. So I want adhesive and along this edge and along the top. And then I'm going to leave this un unglued, right, so it can be a pullout. Okay, so this little guy is going to be a pullout. Oh, that is so cute. Then I'm going to pop this guy up. So, I am going to give some of these cards to a girlfriend because she loves any kind of C cards. She's she's a boat girl, so she loves them. So I asked her um, if she liked any of these cards that I had prepared, and she did. So I'm gonna glue one of these down. I think I'm gonna glue this one down. So I'm gonna let her pick out what cards she wants out of these. Then I'm gonna pop this one up. Two. And the wings will just be floating like that. Okay, so the card is actually going to open like that. So on the inside, I'm going to go ahead and use this coral because I want to use it up. Okay, so I'm going to put a little glue on here. Ugh. That's the only problem with this. That's what the rubber bands are for to hold the hold that little silicone closed, but obviously didn't use it. So it's like getting in my way. Okay. Here we 
we go. I still have a couple of those those little card kits, those card packets left. So if you're interested in those, I'll put it on upside down, Travis. Um, why don't you just text me or email me or call me? Um, I'll be happy to send them to you. All right. Oops. Ugh. Oh, I got a little glue. Now, what do you do if you do that? If you get a little glue, well, take your embossing buddy that is now available again and just tap it. Okay, and what it does is it absorbs the, covers up the glue. Then you go, and makes it non-sticky. Hello. Okay, so sending good thoughts. So cute. I don't know if I should put pull on there. I don't think I need to. I think whoever gets this will get it. And then I'll put one more of these little birds inside because I can. Like that. I still have a few little pieces here, but guess what? Not much. I have two circles and I have a bottle and this piece that I had trimmed. So that's it. So this is a simple card. I'm gonna put some embellishments on here. I'm not sure what yet, okay? So let's see what everything I made. So I made this card today, obviously, and I made this card today, and I'm really loving this little rope look. Okay, so this is popped up, so you would have to, if you wanted to mail this, you would have to either put it in a little, you know, bag, or hand it to the person. Okay, so there's our card there. Okay, here's the rest of my cards that I made. All right, a couple of these you've seen because I did this one, hang on a second, I did this one on a video. All right, so we have that one. And then I also did this one on a video. It was pretty simple too. Okay, so I just tore it. And then I kind of took my sponge and sponge down so the sun is kind of coming down onto the boat. Okay, so here's some more that I made. I absolutely love this one. <clears throat> so this one is where I use the tissue paper. So I ran the tissue paper, I glued the tissue paper down. Then once it dried, I ran it through the seashell embossing folder and it textured it. Can you see that? So cute. Then I used some craft paper and I, uh, glue, and I sponged it a little bit, and then I stamped with white ink. I stamped those little stars fish on there. Then I did the bottle with the um, message in a bottle, stuck that in there. It's not a pullout. That's in there permanently. And then I tied Thinking of You onto the coral and added the um, seahorse. So this is the gray one of the gray bases. All right, so there's one. I love that card. Then we have this one. This one is, I think this might be one of the cards as it was the way it was designed, but I like it. I really like it. And so they, I just used Bermuda Bay ink and this card little, uh, yeah, this was actually the way one of the cards was designed, I think. And then this one, I really like this one too. So this bottle came with the kit. Right, and I just stamped, and then I put some Winkostella over it. I stamped those, but this I punched out with the vintage bottle punch out of this piece of paper, and then I just staggered it and popped it up. Here's some more coral. Ran it through that cool embossing folder. Thinking of you, and I had to cut that down a little bit. Okay, and we got a little extra piece of something on the inside. Okay, we'll dig that off later. This one, totally like this simple card. So this is actually from, is it called Seize the Day? So I just cut a couple of those out and then stamped thanks from the depths of my heart from that stamp set. Okay, and this is, and then instead of turning it this way, I turned it this way. Okay, so that was another gray base. This one, love this card. So I actually cut this, right? This was this. I cut that. So this is a pull. Wrapped a bunch of the twine around there. Coral. There's where I stamped this, the um, 
little dots all over the um, the starfish. And then the little red uh, poppy seahorse. Some of that. Okay. Pop the bird up. This one, again, is from, I think it sees the day, die. Isn't that amazing, die? And um, sees the day, punch it out with an oval punch. This is in, this is permanently in there. The little fish also is stamped from that set. And then these are pieces. I did invert these, um, the coral and the white. I thought the white coral looked more like coral sometimes. And then I ran this through the splatters embossing folder. So that looks like water. Okay, so it kind of looks like an aquarium actually. Okay, and then this one, kind of a cute little fun fold. Just a piece of, like a one and a half inch piece of poppy cardstock. And pop that up. Happy birthday to my, um, this is from, oh, uh, what's the name of that stamp set? Can't think of it, but happy birthday to my beautiful friend. Love that thing. And so kind of a cute little fun fold, right? Stamp that in uh, early espresso. Oh no, I think that's, take that back. I think that's going gray, uh, basic gray. Okay. And then the last one is my scroll card. So I had that extra piece of, what are, where are those? Did I use them? Um, these. Okay, so I took these, and here I'm going to show you something. If you take your bone folder and you just keep working this, right? So what you're doing here is you're breaking down the fibers of the cardstock. And I'm actually going to pull this apart. If you get this thin enough, where you the paper is just like really papery and almost like fabric, Show you what happens. So when you do this, you can start to get to the end. You got to be a little bit careful. Then it starts to split. So the cardstock starts to split in half and you can do some cool things. You can pull this apart and do you see it starts to look like almost like leather. So it's like a faux leather. Okay. So that's what I did. So I made this super thin. And then I rolled it up like a little scroll. And it's really easy to roll at this point, right? Because it's so thin. You almost can't do it on cardstock. But you can certainly do it when you make it thinner. Okay, so I just put a little glue there and I rolled it down. Okay, and then I took uh, one of those um, corals and I cut it apart. And then this is also from that Seize the Day dies, I think. And then Wishing You Oceans of Happiness. And I absolutely love this card. I am going to add some little silver or something embellishments, but isn't that so cute? So that's a cool technique. So there's a couple techniques here. There's that one. There's, um, well, there's a fun fold, right? Then there's um, the tissue paper technique. And the tissue paper technique is very easy. Lots of glue, very thin, even to the edges. Take your, your tissue paper, and you can even use napkins. If you're going to use napkins, you want to pull them apart to where they're super thin. Roll them up in a ball, straighten them out, and then you get that texture when you do that. Okay? So, I know this is a long video. I am all finished with my July kit, and I am looking forward to getting my August kit. So, hope you are a subscriber. If you are, please, please, please come to Paper Pumpkin Day. I would love that. I hope that you would signed up to be a Paper Pumpkin subscriber. If you've uh, been a subscriber in the past and you have extra kits that you haven't used, bring one and come to Paper Pumpkin Day. So um, I haven't picked a date for August because I'm going to be going to leadership uh, at the end of August uh, in New Orleans. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to have an August date, but I'll have, if I don't, I'll have two in September. So I hope you enjoyed this today. Um, Stay cool. Super hot here in St. Louis. Enjoy your weekend and I will see you on Tuesday.